Hi guys, welcome back to another great episode. I say it's gonna be a bit different. We're gonna be doing a tutorial episode and um and we're gonna be um I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build a plane. So obviously there's so many different types and I won't go through all of them or anything like that, but I'll just uh do the basics of making somewhat of a plane and that sort of style uh, so uh, these are the blocks that will be the best uh, for this I would recommend using these if you really want to get really really fancy I guess you could use stuff like barrier blocks and uh, such but uh, I'm not so I'm obviously not going to do that, so I'm just going to make uh, it completely, um, you know, the survival friendly. Um, so obviously, there's going to be some very expensive blocks, so uh, I'd recommend replacing them if you know you're in survival, because I would not be using uh, these blocks. Um, because they're very expensive, and not these ones, but we'll get into some much more expensive ones, which I probably wouldn't really recommend using for this. Uh, I'm thinking just a normal World War II plane or something like that. So, obviously, um, it's pretty easy. You guys should be able to get this right, too something uh, like that so basically just a big tube and some sort of end cap thing I'm, I'm not too sure but uh, you should have something like this like that um, obviously this isn't going to be the most perfect plane ever uh, actually, it's going to not be the best at all. Um, so, if you're not a very experienced builder, I'd recommend you doing something like this. But, if you are very good at building, um, I would not really build something like this. You probably, uh, maybe. I wouldn't really uh, mind to build a plane like this. But, something like that is probably what you want roof will be extremely easy to, easy to do um, I particularly sometimes actually like using stained glass more than normal and uh, it's the small details that really just make it happen so like uh, these pieces in the wall really helps out with the aesthetic and stuff so I definitely recommend you doing that it's awesome it looks great it looks way better and it's just gonna improve your build so much something like that is probably good um so now I will be doing the wings obviously you want the wings Perfect. Uh, this plane is definitely not going to be the best. Uh, you can obviously uh, do it from the top or bottom, depending on what you want. Just mark which area. I'll just do that. And one, two, three, four. So that's what six, uh, nine, ten. Ten's probably a good length for a size like this. So the length of the plane, and if you just cut a little bit short of it, and then that's probably a good size for your wings to be. Obviously you can have them slanted, or like this just straight. I'm going to go with the straight ones, since I'm going to be doing a sort of World War II plane. Not really, but, you know, kind of. 
And now we'll just repeat that on the same side, on the other side. Um, and make sure you get all the stuff right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And make sure just to check that it's completely even and nothing's wrong. Because um, it would be... Also, if you're doing this in the sky, uh, like it might look a bit weird because it's obviously not moving. So I'd rather you'd probably uh, do this for, you know, the, um, uh, you know, just on the ground, on the landing field. Or whatever. Uh, since you know, it's a bit you um, it's a bit like, you know, it just sits there, sits there in the sky, and it doesn't look as good. I can remove this now. Um, just also add different slabs. It, it helps. Also, just use slabs. So one, two, three, four, and. There we go. This already looks like a plane, and it looks pretty good and decent too. Alright, we have that. So we have pretty much the bases done. Uh, now we can start working on the back. I'm doing a World War II plane again, you know, so try to get these aesthetics really good. Um, smoothing out the bottom of your plane really helps it looks way nicer I, I would totally do it and it's it's worth the slabs because it gives you a nice rounded plane edge so as you can see we do all this all that works get these and that and then we just obviously do some of this like that and now, um, the back, for the back, you probably, uh, don't want any windows, because this is probably gonna be, uh, where all the things and storage is. You can even add stuff like, uh, doors and stuff, so you can actually get inside. I'm not gonna do that, because it, it kind of ruins some of the, uh, looks, but I totally agree. If you want to do it, that's fine. Um, but... Uh, you add your own bits, uh, depending on like what type of plane you want. Obviously, mine's probably going to be different. So that looks pretty good. Um, now we just gotta add the back. I'm going to use a few small blocks, and then finish it off with you know some slabs. Um. And add a little notch at the back. And uh, that's pretty much a plane done. It looks decent. You could obviously add way more stuff. This is really basic. And I really mean it. It's basic as anyone could do this. Uh, you can add whatever you want. Missiles, uh, whatever. If you're a redstone genius, uh, you could probably make them launch TNT or whatever. Uh, bigger planes make more space for contraption, storage, whatever. And it's pretty good overall. Like, I wouldn't mind uh, looking at this plane. It's pretty nice, like, to be fair. Uh, you could totally make this way better. This is extremely, it's like, it's not too bad, it's not too good, but you could obviously make it way far, far better, and uh, just give it a good, you know, stuff. But you could add more detail, and the detail is probably the main thing. So adding, you know, pieces on the roof, different types of slabs, making a pattern or something, adding some extra stuff uh, like iron bars. Uh, it just all helps, and then eventually you get a really nice look, and if you overdo it, then it looks pretty bad, but overdoing it is a, it's like a risk and reward, and will most of the time make your build look far better than before. So just adding those iron bars already makes it look 
more depth and just awesome. So that's pretty much going to be the end of this one. This one's going to be a bit of a shorty, but it's fine. And uh, go join my Roblox game and go sub and like if you want more tutorials like this. And uh, um, pretty much it. I mean, it's a good, good build. Um, probably one of my best builds yet. Uh, depends. Leave a comment if you think it is. I'm not too sure. But uh, all the important information, uh, go check it down. Link in the description. And uh, yeah, so it's going to be it. And uh, yeah, so see ya.